Um, but again, men, I mentioned earlier that there was another great advantage using Notepad++, and that's actually that there is a autocomplete available for Wild Pocket specifically for Notepad++. Um, for those that are not familiar with how to use an autocomplete, in Notepad++, it's basically um, syntax highlighting for uh, specific functions and getting information about functions um, uh, in, in the language you're working in. Uh, so to get that functionality, what you're going to need to do is if you go to the WildPocket site, go under Community to the Forms, all right, and in the Forms go to the dedicated code sharing tips and tricks. You can find the WildPocket's Notepad++ auto completion uh, created by me, and grab that, um, and it shows a simple image of what this will actually look like. You can see that it's a uh, uh, is I'm making a, sort, a simple GUI manager call and it's actually giving me detailed information about how GUI manager works, the parameters it accepts. And this is really useful for when you're programming on the fly and don't want to go back to look at the documentation. Um, so to install this, all you really need to do is download the autocomplete. Uh, as you can see, it's an XML. So to actually download it, you're going to have to want to right click and save link as. And that'll save it to, I'm going to save it to my desktop in this case. Right? And I try to give instructions about where to save it, which is wherever your Notepad++ directory is, and then the plugins folder, and then in the APIs. So that's in this particular case, it's my computer, uh, local disk, and then it should be program files, Notepad++, plugins, APIs. And you can see there's a bunch of XMLs for various languages in here. So we're going to want to put in that notepad plus plus xml right here lua.xml you're just going to drop that right in uh, to this list here okay now for a good measure i usually like to restart uh, notepad plus plus just to be sure and uh, we're not going to worry about updating okay so now we're in a very specific version of uh now now we should have syntax highland so so i said something like um you know object equals uh scene manager dot create object at first I'm not going to get anything uh, and you're going to see I have no syntax highlighting no bonuses or anything like that well it's not that you did anything wrong it's that you actually have to enable uh, this property uh, which is this it's not enabled by default so if you go to right here settings preferences backup so it goes to uh, la, la, settings preferences um, and you look for backup slash auto completion and you can see that it's not on by default you're going to want to enable auto completion on each input and we want function parameters hint on input um, I like to have function completion chosen for this now when we try to say something like that so we'll say we'll go back to whatever we were doing before here uh, as soon as I put in oh, you can see that it's popped up a list here of the functions I might want that all match the functions we know in wild pockets. Um, and if I actually put in this parenthesis, you'll see that it's giving me very detailed information about what this particular function does. Um, create object, file name, rotation, positions, objects, and tries to start explaining them. There is a 400 char or character limit on these, so they will cut off ar uh, arbitrarily. So if you do need more information, you can always check out the manual and get more detailed information on that. But generally speaking, uh, this is a great way to get all the uh, information you're going to need for something. So get something like get position. Uh, you can click enter and it automatically complete it. Uh, GUI manager at call was one I was using earlier. It's very it's very convenient for uh, making your games in wild pockets. All right, um, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, if you guys have questions or comments, be sure to drop us a line in the feedback tab on the side of the site. If you just click on that, it'll open up here. If you have any questions, just drop them in the question tab. Problems, praise, anything you like, just let us know.